So uh, what I wanted to do uh, was give you guys um, some insight into uh, what I think the future of the internet will be. By the end of the decade, almost all businesses will be internet businesses. And uh, this is really important. If you don't think you are an internet business today, uh, I'm almost certain. There will be some tiny exceptions. I'm almost certain you are. All businesses will be more open and more connected. And this is already happening. Um, Twitter is a fantastic example of this. Facebook is a great example. Um, even businesses who don't want a, a Twitter account um, get mentioned on Twitter. People talk about them. So the next thing is that the future will look more like the past than the present. So if you go back a very short period of time, uh, maybe 80 years, 100 years, business looked like this. Uh, you typically shopped, you lived in, typically lived in a smaller place, you shopped in uh, the same shops over and over and over again, and you typically knew the people who you bought from, they typically knew you, uh, you built relationships, you knew them by name. Uh, the internet is forcing us to go back to the way things used to be, where, um, again, we can see all the customers by name, we can talk to them, uh, we can, there will be technologies like all the messaging apps that we use today, whether that's Facebook Messenger, uh, WhatsApp, text messaging, iMessage, and so on. Mass marketing, in my opinion, is coming to an end. Uh, I think that's a very good thing for everybody involved. Um, uh, we're moving towards a world which is much more around behavioral segmentation, uh, targeting based on behavior rather than demographics. Um, today's service is basically treated as a cost center. It's, a, uh, it's an overhead for a business, and as a result, you get terrible, terrible experiences. Again, we've all experienced this a lot. Uh, you ring a company and all they want to do is get you off the phone or uh, in more commonly actually try and not get you on the phone at all through these horrible automated, uh, people call it voice jail, where you're trying to you know, dial one for this and dial two for that and you're back to dialing one again and you, you just can't actually, you just, please speak to a person, does that work? Speak to a person. You're going to need to launch products faster. Uh, m many people I work with or have worked with over the years think in terms of two and three year planning cycles. And I actually think that two to three years is the worst uh, time frame you can think about if you're planning to build things. Thinking about um, building products over the course of two or three years means that by the time you've shipped it and got it out to the public, the technologies involved are obsolete and there's a whole bunch of other technologies that have been invented um, because the pace of change is so, so fast. Some of the smartest people in your business are the youngest. And people who are born, you know, 20 years ago and less, 25 years ago and less, were born with the internet. And it's a subconscious thing. Uh, they think about it in the same way most of us think about electricity. Um, and they natively understand it much better than people in my generation and uh, people older than me. And I, wanna, I want to show you guys one thing, which is the first TV ad that was ever aired. And if you think about TV advertising today uh, and think about the internet as a very, very new technology and a very, very new medium, um, this TV ad is very, very uh, eye-opening. So that's it. <laughs> Most people wait for like something else to happen. Uh, it's a print ad and a radio ad smashed together. That's what it is. Um, and that's basically what we're doing today. We're looking at existing media and we're smashing together pages and print uh, and TV in ways we've thought about working with all these other things over the last few decades. And we're not actually thinking about the internet as a network, uh, as an ecosystem. Uh, all these connected objects, all these different uh, aggregators and technologies and um, companies and data. Uh, and I think if you do that, um, you'll just end up in a, in a much better place.